Ready? All right, well, uh, first, uh, how are you feeling? How excited are you to be getting ready here? Extremely excited. Um, these things are the worst. Uh, sitting out it sucks, but uh, I'm really proud of the way the team played. And, um, you know, certain guys stepped up in some big ways, and, and you saw their true colors of how good some of the players are on this team. So it's, it's, uh, it's been fun to watch. It's going to be even more fun to get back in the action. And I know, kind of going off of that, I know sitting back and watching from afar is the, the last thing that you want to do, but what has encouraged you the most about the start to the season this team's had and the way they're playing? Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, we, uh, we came out pretty hot, um, and since then, uh, the team's been rolling pretty good. I, I love the way we were playing. We play a tight defensive game, and that's kind of the, the thing that we wanted to bring into the season. Um, and you gain a little bit of extra perspective watching from up top, watching on TV. Um, and kind of uh, learning the systems you know, even better. So I think uh, there's some good things that'll come out of this and, and uh, I feel good, I feel really healthy right now, so I'm ready to go. You've gotten to know Monty and Gus a lot over here. So how impressed were you with them in particular stepping up in your absence? Oh yeah, I mean, they've been doing it um, <laughs> the last couple of years. Uh, you know, they, they, uh, they're fantastic players. Um, obviously they have a lot of belief in them, in them in this organization and, and uh, they've stepped up big time. Um, Realistically, you're just seeing who they really are. You know what I mean? They're they're fantastic players, and they're given that opportunity, and um, they're going to continue to run with it because there's lots of ice time to be had. Obviously, you're betting yourself now, but what can you learn playing with a guy like Mark Stahl? I saw you out there with there today. A ton, a ton. Uh, I played with uh, Willie Mitchell back in the day, Brian Campbell. He, he reminds me of those guys. Super solid, good first pass guy. Um, a lot of knowledge about the game. You know, almost 1,100 games. It's uh, it's endless what you can learn from guys like that. And going back to the injury, was there any relief? I mean, it was for a lot of fans when it was not one of the injuries that you had before, that it was just just a hockey kind of thing that, that you could work out the next day as Bill Zito said. So. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's easier in that sense. Um, it still sucks sitting out. It was about half the time that I sat out last year. So um, it doesn't get any easier going in and doing rehab every single day, but uh, it's part of the gig. Yeah, I mean, it was just a hockey injury, right? I mean, it was yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, freakish yeah. or anything like that. It happens. Yep, yep. Just, uh, you know, you guys already knew what it was. So nothing serious. Yeah. So in looking looking now, looking ahead, you're going to have to go back to log some big minutes. The roster's back to where it was. There isn't, you know, you can't, you're not going to be eased into the, the lineup. If there's a back-to-back, -back, you're going to have to play that kind of thing. Does you feel 100%? <laughs> yeah, more than 100%. Yeah. I feel great. So. I'm not worried about playing any more minutes. We've seen that the guys can, you know, handle it. So I'm, I'm, I'm not worried about, uh, you know, coming in and playing equal with them. And does it help that you've been able to skate last week, ten days, whatever it's been, and go hard? Yeah, I've been able to reintegrate myself with the team over the last, you know, whatever week and a half. We were on the road. I was able to start, you know, skating with the team, and um, you know, over the last like probably three days, able to, you know, really put everything I had into it. And, and that uh, prepares you for the game well. Tough challenge first game back. Just your thoughts on the Oilers, McDavid. Uh, you only see him twice a year. Best player in the world. Uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, it's a fun challenge whenever he gets to play against a guy like that. Uh, I've been embracing that challenge since we were little kids when he beat us like 13 to one in a in an OHF final game. So um, obviously, fantastic players up and down their lineup. Um, two in particular are extremely dangerous, and I always welcome that competition, that challenge. Aaron, what has Matthew Kachuk brought to your team? Uh, just a ton. Um, every shift, every game, um, every second he's on the ice, he's, he's doing something to help the team win. And it's uh, in a million different ways. Um, you know, he rides that line of being uh, extremely competitive. Um, he's a true challenge to play against. Playing against him in the last few years if this has been uh, you know, a challenge just like it is against McDavid or any of those guys. He's got the ability to score, the ability to pound you into the wall and, and get under your skin. So it's it's fun to play against a guy like that, play with him. Sorry. How did it change your, your team dynamic? Because you lost two pretty good players in that trade. You have to kind of change the dynamic of the lineup. How did that kind of, you got a good player, you could check, but it probably changed a little bit. Yeah, it changed a little bit. Um, brought a, a ton of toughness to the team. I, I, I love the way he plays. We all love the way he plays. Um, he plays a disciplined game, um, but he also plays on the edge, and that's, that's not easy to do. Um, he does a great job getting other, under other teams' skin. He takes care of his players, takes care of his goalie all the time. Um, really fun to play with a guy like that. He's so skilled. And yeah, of course, the trade changed things a little bit here, but uh, we're still an extremely difficult team to play against, uh, especially so with him. Sorry, you, you, I kind of heard you said there was a game you played against McDavid. Uh, yeah, do you remember? Like, wow, we were like 12 years old, maybe. I think his uh, York Simcoe Express team, I think Sam Bennett was also on that team. Um, you know, 
Oh, they beat us like they beat us like 13 to one back in the day. OHF or something like that back in the day. Yeah, yeah. So I've been playing against him for so long. Um, it's always a welcome challenge. You're always knowing when he's on the ice and you know matching your speed against his. You know, five seconds before he gets the puck. So um, that's kind of the approach that I've taken against him and. It's gone good sometimes. It's gone bad sometimes. So it's always fun. You ever been able to completely match his speed or what? Like <laughs> obviously not. <laughs> Certainly not. Thanks, <laughs> Zach.